Video script, and he is going to tell us about himself before he does that. Over to you. Thank you. So, that's the topic for this session. So, first, let me take you through the agenda of this session. First, we we'll discuss why videos. Then, we we'll discuss why videos fail. Then, we we'll talk about scripting the video. Next, I'll share some tips and best practices that we have uh, followed. Next, one demonstration video and then I'll answer your questions. So let's begin with a question. Why videos? Anyone? It is interesting to see a video than reading a text. Okay. <coughs> when reading becomes boring, <laughs> then we go for videos. Uh, content is actually moving very quickly towards you know a more visual impact rather than only reading yes. and videos are already they are already playing a very important role you know whether it uh, being uh, you know via podcasts or other uh, you know means uh, videos are going to be the future way in which we write content that is I think it's the quickest way the fastest way you can we can understand the product. So you guys are telling me that uh, instead of writing documents, it's better to create video. It's, it's not an alternative. It's just an addition. It's another way of uh, making information available to Exactly. So have you ever created videos? Have you? Yes. So what are the difficulties that you face? Yes, uh, creating a script is uh, uh, definitely a difficult task because you have to go through the entire scenario first and then uh, come up with a script and that you get to review from the developers and the test team members. So sometimes that might create some difficulties uh, before you create a video. So uh, one of the I think most critical things that we need to keep in mind is the duration of the video because uh, it is very difficult to keep somebody entertained for more than two, two and a half minutes, maybe three, three and a half minutes. So based on that, uh, my experience or challenge has been to keep the word limit controlled and yet convey the entire message the way you want. So these are the points. That's, so video is too long. If it is more than five to ten minutes, no one will see. Yes. They get bored. They will close the video and they will uh, do some other work. Sometimes it does not convey the message. Or sometimes user is too much into visuals. Rather than concentrating on the concept, it's too much of, too much into visuals. You just introduce a lot of visuals which are with them. So these are the reasons why video fail. Yeah, incorrect audience. These are the points. Lack of product knowledge makes long and complex. Too much attention given to visual concepts. <coughs> Unnecessary usage of uh, special effects. The next thing is poor production quality. So I saw one video. It's a good video, but yes, use background uh, audio, which is I think is. Writing his uh, thoughts, whatever he is telling, it's hidden. So it's better to avoid those things. The next thing is uh, scripting that perfect video. To overcome all these issues or all these problems, we have to create a script. So importance of a script. Yeah, as you said, <coughs> scripts are very important to create a video. First thing is, why, why script? These are the points that concentrates on the importance of script. <coughs> Organizes your thoughts. Suppose uh, you are creating one video, you have scripted everything, you have written it down. One developer will come and say, hey, there is one critical bug, you have to 
concentrate on that first. You have to resolve that first and then you do whatever you are doing. So you will be busy with that, resolving that issue. So you will come back and you will wonder what, what I was doing. I was creating video. So this script, it organizes your thoughts and it also helps you in deciding which information should go or information can be open. The next, determines the flow. So in script, you follow step by step. That is what should come first, then next, then how to finish. Ensure consistent. Let's assume you are creating some five to six videos. So you have created already created a video, which already has a script. So using that script as a base, you can create multiple videos. Helps interpret abstract concept. So let's assume uh, your project manager or project owner comes up with an idea. So he wants to create a video. He give you a lengthy text, two to three pages. So he tell you to create a video. So what do you do? So you get everyone on the same page. Let's assume uh, I think you have put in writing, right? And your voice is good. <laughs> Sorry. And your voice is very good. So you are located in Bangalore and you are located in Chennai. So you create a document, so you'll not be having any idea. So you use this script as a base, you share it with him, so he gets to know what the idea is. So you can uh, use the script and you can read out. And for the points that we should uh, make sure or we should take care before writing a script. Identify the stakeholders. So, have you come across this? Identify the stakeholders. So, same thing follows. So, whatever you follow while uh, creating a traditional document, same thing follows here. First, you have to identify your stakeholders, talk to them, decide on the topic. Next, confirm the objective of the video. Next, here I would like to take an example. So, you are creating a video. Marketing video, let's assume marketing video. So there your objective is different. And you have created another video which explains how to use the product. So their objective is different. Right? Next, know your target audience. So same case. So for marketing, your audience is completely different. And uh, start the script or even if you to decide that I'm going to work on this video, right? Or or it's should not be part of the process, I guess. Review process, uh, it's like already you are done. Correct. It's a part of business. So it's better once you start, once you have written the script, that time it's better to follow. Before you take a decision whether I should invest time in this, like this, so it makes sure Yes. It's, the thing here is get everyone on the same page. So for that reason, how you do it? How you do it? How you do it? So we'll discuss with the, uh, your project manager. These are the checks, sir. First, you will decide, we we'll talk to project managers. Whether the, let's assume you have an idea to create a video. So you talk to your project owners whether that is feasible to create a video or not. That you will decide. So you will come up with an objective, title, everything you will come up. So you will say to scope you whether that is sounds good or should I change it or how uh, it can be modified. So here, support team can also come into picture. Right? So if you are creating any troubleshooting uh, videos, at time you can take help of support team because they are the ones who talk to customers there. Right? That is your question. Okay. Next is usability review. So this comes after you have captured the video.
was removed or not. Status name, presenter, status, device, then approval for posting. So be, once you have captured all the videos, then this comes into picture. Next is objective. Audience level, scenario description, functionality. Next here. For first thing, what will be the voiceover? What will be the visual? Next, action on screen. So what you will be performing on the screen? And if any additional information that you want to add, you can add it here. There is one more video that we have created for our product. Welcome to Microfocus Zenworks video demonstration. In this video, we will walk you through the Zenworks License Compliance Dashboard. Zenworks 2017 introduces the License Compliance Dashboard in the Asset Management module. Software Asset Management is a business practice which deals with the life cycle of software deployment on various IT systems in an organization's network. Zenworks Asset Management provides you with tools and practices necessary for software asset management in an organization. The dashboard provides a quick overview of all the software products that are under licensed, over licensed and compliant. It also displays the top licensed products along with their deficit, surplus and balanced license counts. To effectively manage licenses and compliance of software products installed, a software asset manager should be able to access all the vital information in an easy to read single page interface that graphically depicts the license status. You can use all this information to take swift decisions such as procuring new software licenses, reallocating licenses instead of buying new licenses, and reallocating unused software to avoid non-compliance fines. In the License Compliance tab, if you wish to view the list of products that are under license, click the number associated with under licensed products. The list of under licensed products is displayed. Similarly, you can view the over licensed and compliant products. You can even click individual licensed products to view the complete compliance status. Let us move on to the license product tab. Using this tab, you can view the complete details of all the licensed products in one single page. You can use the search and filter options to narrow the search results for a particular licensed product. Click the down arrow provided here to view entitlements, discord products and catalog products associated with the product. To ease the burden on asset managers, all the licensed product details are clickable. To get more details, click any link. To yes. If I don't any mistake, you can see issue. So if script was written properly, this. It's, yeah, I think change is the only constant, so it changes every day. Yeah. These are the drawbacks that we have. Same way. Is it easier to make a new video? Suppose your software is updated. Is it easier to make a new video or you know, modify the existing video? Depends on the type of uh, changes that you have. If it is a minor change, then you can uh, directly edit the source. Or else you can capture the. Uh, which tool is this? Video capture. So, Currently, I have used Captivate and Camtasia. So both are very good tools. So it comes with the price tag. There are some free tools also you can use. How do you decide on the watch? Like, who is going to give a watch? Is the person who is creating the video himself or actually? What are the requirements that you need? Depends. See, robotic voice, this thing. Text to speech, this thing. So it was not well received by our customers. So they said, no, no, it's not good. So we used our own voice. Um, second question is like uh, when you are creating this uh, 
it appears you are following the complete process of how video is created. So it involves uh, involvement of team members from different teams, right? Like you have editorial review, you have technical review, or is it just one person or uh, the person who is making video who is doing all that? No, it's a team effort. Okay. They can include writers from other views or other organizations. If you want. Sorry? Captivate, Captivate Camtasia, Snagit. 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 Sorry? Free tools. No, these are not free tools. Which are the free ones? Free ones. Free ones. So there is one called, I don't remember. Yeah.